Well, you've heard a picture is worth a thousand words, but what about a picture that takes a thousand years to develop? That's what's happening right now at the University of Arizona. All new at 630, meteorologist Jorge Torres gives us a glimpse at the camera that will slowly capture the changing landscape over the span of a millennium. Here's an example of long exposure photography, which creates the effect of showing time passing by. In this case, the image is over a span of only five seconds, but the millennium camera in Tucson will take a bit longer to create. I took that conceptually into a more extreme space than has been attempted by anybody else. Perhaps because nobody else is crazy enough to do so. Jonathan Keats, a University of Arizona researcher, came up with the idea of the Millennium Camera, which will document all of the changes that the desert landscape at Tumamak Hill will face over the next 1,000 years. There's a bench right next to the camera. This is a place to be able to sit and to reflect or to have a conversation with somebody else. The camera was installed last fall and uses a tiny pinhole that focuses light onto colored pigment so that the color fades most where light is brightest, slowly revealing an image. Tucson's local mountains will likely look more sharp and crisp, while homes may look more ghostly or translucent since they may not exist by then. There are more cameras like it too. There will be if everything goes according to plan, seven by the end of 2024, including one in China, one in Europe, in Austria, and another one in the U.S., in Los Angeles. There's even one installed at the ASU Art Museum in Tempe. Although none of us will be around when the image is done developing, Keats says the existence of the camera is also in place to encourage people to think about the future and what we as humans are doing to contribute to that future. The camera is going to be what people make of it. The world is going to be what people make of it. And I think that only by taking that in hand and keeping that in mind do we have any chance of ending up in a place that we would want to be. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15, Arizona.